G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back on the Rogue, the Undead Rogue in World of Warcraft, classic, hardcore edition. Uh, we are currently level 6 and uh, I'm able to learn some new abilities eventually. But right now I'm looking for Gordo, who apparently is patrolling between here and Brill. Uh, Brill being this way. Also, the Undercity is over there. So at some point, it should seem looks like somebody else came this way. Unless it was just Death Guard Lundark. Lundmark. What is Gordo's task? Collecting three gloom weed. Okay. Let's go on Lundmark. What? What are you looking for? Nothing at all. Watch your back. <laughs> There's another dark hound dead over here. Where is this guy? You can see a zeppelin in the background there. So this is our third episode. If you'd like to see the first two, uh, you can click on the series playlist, which is up in the top right. I'll give you a link to that. Taylor, not interested, mate. Crossing this bridge. The rotting undead beneath. Yeah, so the start of every, just about every series I do, every episode, uh, you can always find, if you're always wanting to see the beginning, uh, you can always just sort of hover in the right, top right of the video, and you should be able to get a link for the series playlist. I've popped it there, I usually pop it in at the beginning of a video, if, you know, somebody's new to it and they're like, well, this is episode 355, what's episode 1 like? Well, then they can go and find out really quickly. So you can always find it up there. Where is this guy? Mate, I went along that entire path. I did not see Gordo at all. What are you looking for? Scourge have trickled into Tirisfall Glades and have infested the area west of Brill near the O- Dillinger. I have exactly what you need. You do, I love mushrooms, apparently. Farewell. And you sell all the mushrooms. Right, so here we are at Brill, the first town. I am forsaken. Where we you get to have learn. Your bidding well, young adventurer. You are proving yourself to be quite an asset to the Dark Lady's army. So I'm gonna learn how to become an alchemist here. I find that to be quite useful. So, my first profession, uh, alchemy, but uh, I need to be able to pick herbs to be able to utilize that, and I need some empty vials as well to contain my various potions, but you can see here, there's a healing potion, I can craft those, uh, minor defense, increase your armor by 50 for one hour, and I can also increase my strength, and you're like, well, don't you need agility on a, on a rogue? Well, yeah, you, you do, but having just that, like, you can... You don't have to choose between activating one or another. I can have all both of these going up the top there. And strength does help. Increases attack power with melee weapons, so I use melee weapons, so there you go. You have performed your bidding well, young adventurer. You are proving yourself to be quite an asset to the Dark Lady's army. So herbalist. So I can find. So I can actually find the herbs and you'll see, when I click there, you see the little flower up there, you'll see little yellow dots around, um, which will represent the herbs that can be picked. Which is quite handy for keeping track of such things. What? I can teach you the f She can teach me how to ride, but that's at level 40, that's a long way away. Victory for Sylvanas. Who knows if I'll even get there. I have exactly what you need. You actually do have a few things that I do need. But 
I don't know if I want to give up the cash that yet. Lady, watch over you. Another quest ending over here. What would you ask of death? Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information, adventurer. Hmm. Names of the officers in the Tirisfall Glades. Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift strike. So I need the empty vials. I'll grab I'll grab 20. So I can craft those up. Embrace the shadow, and you are. Now you sell. Oh, I actually just ran out. So my throne weapon. <laughs> I just ran out of them. So I should replenish that. I think I might have had that. Well, this is going to do three damage per second. So I'll buy 200 of those. Pop them in there. You can actually buy pouches. So six slot pouches, but that's going to cost five silver. I need my do silver right now. Death. We got an inn over here, which I'll bind at. Do not waste my... Hello. Rest your weary. Oh, a letter. Wonderful news. I've been waiting on work. Rest your weary bones for. So that way, when I use my hearthstone, I'll go back here. Rest your weary bones what did... for a spell. What did she just do? Ask no one. Rest your weary bone. Rest your weary. Embrace the shadow. I'm pretty sure she did it. There was a different movement going on there. Alright, whatever. Listen to the music of this in. By the light, finally some food. Sweet. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Turn into a zealot. My mind, my flesh, I'm rotting! It's not gonna blow up, is he? Is he? You gonna blow? You gonna explode? Nope, just gonna straight up die. Definitely different type of music playing out of this hidden. I'm not. You're no warlock, and I've no. T I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for a first aid trainer or a rogue trainer. With the sanction of Lord Varamathras, the Death Stalker's numbers grow. So I now have Gouge and I upgraded Sinister Strike. Uh, causes six damage versus three damage, so we'll train that. We'll train Gouge. Trust no one. Let's get Gouge on our bar. Causes ten damage, incapacitating the opponent for four seconds, and turns off your attack. Target must be facing you. Any damage caused will revive the target. Awards one combo point. Four seconds. So yeah, you can. I guess it's almost like a stun there, and you can just take a take a moment to. Uh, I don't know. Pop, pop a potion. Uh, do a bit of first aid, which we do need to learn how to do. Where is the first aid trainer? Right there. I am. I can train you in first With the Marge, the Marge Simpson haircut. All right. So now we got that. Come. I've got first aid. I can learn how to craft three linen bandages. At level, once I get my first aid up to 40, 40 I can do a heavy linen bandage. So this one will heal 66 damage over 6 seconds, which is nice. But this one will do 114, which is even better. Funny that it says requires first aid 20, but it takes you to 40 to be able to craft it. I guess you could buy it from somebody else who's already... Learn how to um, craft that. Interesting. Okay. Goodbye. Now the last thing is cooking. Anybody here teach? Anyone teaching the art of cooking? What now? What do you require? What is it? The lost art of cooking. What are you looking for? 
Which profession? Cooking, please. Fancy yourself a chef. Yes. Sorry, where do what I have to go? <laughs> Close that a little bit too quick. Which profession? Fancy yourself a chef. Head to the Head under to city. The under city south of town for your training. You can you catch, can catch the, the elevators, elevators heading down at the back, back of the ruins of Lord Rowan. Talk to, to one, one of those lumbering undercity under guardians for further assistance once you arrive. Beware. There's two voices in you, Terence. So, undercity's over here. Interesting. I probably should go to the undercity to learn how to do that. There's a grave robber quest here. Oh no, Mage Muffin, the undead mage, died at level 14 in Silver Pine. So Silver Pine's over here. Oh, F in the chat. F in the comments, folks. The mass graves southwest of Garen's haunt to the... Now, usually when you come to a town like this, there's a quest which will send you to the city. But, uh... Doesn't seem like I got one of those yet. Which is fine. I'll go there. I'm sure there will be a quest. Look at all the markers here. So, Darkhound Plague. A rogue's deal. Why did that quest come up again? Defeat. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because he sent me over here. And now there's a quest showing up. Defeat Calvin Montague in Death Knell. Interesting. Well, I do got to find this Gordo. I don't know where he went. Unless he died and got away for respawn. While we do that, we can find these putrid claws. And I guess I can head back because this got uh, at war with the Scarlet Crusade. Got a couple of ravaged corpses here. Also, we can start trying to gather. Gather items. Hey, buddy, it's alright. I've got this under control. Ah, oh, he kills. He stole my kill. And my loot. The guards like to protect. Moving in for the backstab. Oh, he's sus. He's so sus. I'll pick his pockets. Backstab. So now I can do gouge. Go around the back. Maybe even if I did it. Oh, there we go. Wait for my energy to recover and I can give him another backstab. Not so easy to do backstabs when you're the only one. When you're going solo. Like after the initial backstab, but with gouge. It can be done. Of course, you got a tanking partner. You can, they can just tank. You can sit in the back and backstab all day long, provided they can hold aggro. Probably better to wait till your energy fills up, then hit him with the gouge. Oh well, if you, that's if you actually get it off. Try again. The gouge. Go around the back. Backstab immediately. Now we've got some bandages. I can throw that over here. It's like I said, if I'm in trouble, you know, I can hit the gouge. I've got four seconds, right? I've got four seconds to heal. This heals 66 over six seconds. So I'm not going to quite get there, but I should get a fair bit. If I press, click on the skills, so from the character, if you go from the character screen and you just press uh, skills, what's the shortcut for skills? K, 
Hey. Okay. I usually press U for some reason. But anyway, if you press K, you can see your skills here. All at a glance. Um, you can see my daggers are 29 out of 30. Unarmed is 1 out of 30. They disarm me. I'll probably be missing them a fair bit. But when you get new weapon skills, they'll be starting at like 1. And so you'll have to train it up by hitting things. So you'll be missing for a fair bit, but you eventually get better. You start hitting more often. Like if I was to pick up a sword, for example, it'd be 1 out of 30. And I'd just be like, miss, miss, dodge, miss. So better to practice against, you know, lower level enemies to build it up a bit. If that's going to be your primary weapon. If it's your offhand, you know, just go in there. As long as you're still doing a decent amount of damage with your main hand. Probably be able to handle it. Handle the damage. Kill them before they get you. So we got four out of seven putrid claws. Now, interesting, it actually spun him around then. I have no idea why that happens. And if anybody knows why that happens, please tell me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the characters, the enemies will spin around when you gouge them. Other times it doesn't happen. Um, I noticed that happened a lot of the these little bats and so on. But not so much on, you know, humans, humanoids and so on, but maybe it does. It's very, it's very odd. It's an oddity. See if it happens again. Yeah, so there you go. Sometimes it happens. It seems to happen more often than not than these things, but... I don't know why it happens, but it's cool when it does. Just wish it was a little bit more reliable. Ah, uh, there we go, you can see a yellow dot over there. Yellow dot, be careful, there's a... We're not quite full health yet. What have we got? Silver leaf. So with silver leaf... I could make elixir of minor defense. A level 5 over there. Sort of Plague Hound over here. Actually, that's a Dark Hound. Still on my list of things to kill. Uh oh. <laughs> Freaked out a little bit. Thought that was another enemy. A red one. Yeah, that time it didn't spin around. And now it does spin around. It's so weird. I want to hit this level 8. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, everything was fine. But if uh, somebody else rocked up. If another one rocked up behind the trees or something. Be in a little bit of trouble. Now, I can make one of these, so I will. 
And I'll consume it and that lasts for one hour. Increases my armor by 50. Which is a decent amount when I have 174 naturally or normally with the armor I've got on. Oh, there's Gordo. Ah, so he actually headed out, out here. He's level 30. Oh, we didn't get to hear what Gordo sounds like. I wanted to hear the Gordo voice. Some peace bloom over here. I'll just mark him up so I can keep track of him. But seeing as he completely disappeared before, I probably should get his his uh, quest sorted out immediately. There's some gloom weed over here, thank you very much. To my profession, I can keep track of that. So we gotta get three of them. One two and there's a third one there this guy's also pretty close number two and the triple right don't go anywhere Gordo I got the good stuff right here what the? Where's he coming? Wait. He's... What? Oh, he's over here. Good, good. I mean, he ain't exactly tiny. He's on a mission. He saw something. What's he doing? Hang on, do I have to hand this to you? Ah, oh, it's over there. Okay. Got nothing to do with him. Collect three gloom weed and deliver them to Junior Apothecary, Holland in the Brill Graveyard. Master want weeds. Our Scots big hands are not good at picking. You help us and we not hurt you. Us need gloom weed. Many weeds around here and near road. When you have gloom weed, you take to Master Holland. In Brill Graveyard. Well. So I've come all the way back. Ah, there is a quest, okay. What is it? What? What? You want money? I don't owe you any money. Letter. What letter? Oh, you want to fight then? All right, mate. Let's do this. Owe you any money. What? <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. That's not good. That is really not good. That is not good at all. Give me a minute to rest up. Am I gonna... Do I hand in here? I'll tell you why it's not good. I think I've just been flagged for PvP. Which means if anybody... Wanted to... On the other side... Sneak around here... They could totally come over here and kill me. Very quickly. Absolutely grief me. So I am gonna wait... However long it takes, I think it's five minutes. And let this thing run up, rather than risk walking around out there. Because, <laughs> you never know. Uh, it's it's 1.38pm. Uh, I don't think there'd be too many people out there during the middle of the week, but you never know. 